Hey, I'm Supermoon Tara, and today we're doing a mid-month October love reading for Scorpio. Hello, Scorpios! This is for entertainment purposes only, and if the messages I deliver today resonate with you, awesome. If not, let them fly. I'll see you in the next one. Either way, I hope you pick up the good vibes I'm sending your way. <laughs> Um, I don't know if you can hear the occasional thunder and the rainfall intensity growing. It's raining right now. But does that not just like totally perfectly resonate with Scorpios? You know, water and this beautiful power and flow and strength. I mean, I just love the serendipity of that all working out <laughs> in your favor. So let's look at what's going on for you energy wise. Got nine of wands in reverse. The Empress upright. And the chariot in reverse. Interesting. Okay. Um wow, it's so appropriate it's raining because you're about to grow. Um this is this is for the part of you right now that's going on that's just like totally spent. Now this can be related to an energy thing. Maybe you're really exhausted from work or school, whatever it is, you're just so tired and gone that to the point that you're starting to feel a little bit directionless. You're, 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 it's like when you wake up and you just get, you know, when we have less sleep, we start to get confused, so to speak. And it can feel like emotions start to dramify. And that's kind of what's going on here. And well, get ready, get set. You definitely meet somebody. I'm connecting to an Aries, a Libra, a Taurus, or a Cancer somewhere in their sun or moon rising signs. And it looks like they just totally help you like bloom you back to life tenfold. Now the thing to think about here is this is not just spark. This is not just like lustful, you know, bedroom spark. This is the part of you that is so tired. How do I put this? When we love somebody, it takes energy. And if you don't have that, if you're not in that mindset, it's hard to know where to even begin. Well, for whatever reason, this person, this connection, totally gets you back into that mindset and you flourish tenfold. Don't be surprised if this sort of abundance that kind of comes out of nowhere in your switch in energy attracts also some like money. I'm not talking about like big money things. I'm talking about like you just find five dollars. Someone randomly pays for your lunch. That type of thing. Don't be surprised if this energy you're putting out just keeps, you know, that's the vines that are coming out of you can come from many different directions and be attracted to you and, you know, connect to your plant, your stem, or whatever. But anyways, um, let's keep going forward with this connection and see what's going on. Four of Wands upright. Ooh, Judgment upright. And we've got... Page of Wands upright. Yeah, it's just continuing to repeat this really positive me message with you. Um, totally getting flipped around in the best possible way. Um, this is not a tower situation where you're like, life is changed, it's totally different. This is more of like an energy calling sort of thing. So first off, with the Four of Wands, I can see that they are close by. Um, they do not be surprised if they are in one of your classes, um, if they live near you, they're in your hometown, they are in your vicinity, and they're very close by, it looks like. Um, definitely don't be surprised if you guys build a connection and meet in one of these situations that would be... Um, like example, in school, in work, maybe you're walking your animal and they're, they're walking theirs and you run into each other. This would be something where you're regularly there often. Anyways, um, I can see that you're going to have just a lot of fun with them. Definitely expect a lot of, you know, silliness, very free spirited. You're just going to find when you're with them, they just help you have so much potential and energy. And it's just, this is all part of not only the benefit of enjoying their company, but there's a sense of um, it. When you were lost before, we talked about this, you felt like you didn't have direction, you weren't sure. Um, definitely expect a bit of a calling. 
maybe even a little bit spiritual, you're going to find you have this sort of connection to the earth and the things around you in a bit of a, like, way you hadn't anticipated before. You're going to start to notice serendipities. You're going to start to understand the bigger picture. And you're going to be on this new journey where you just kind of feel really connected and happy and feel like you have a greater understanding. This is all a part of the beginning of you being like reborn again. It's really beautiful. So expect to both have fun. They're nearby. You're, this is all part of like this greater thing going on. And they're just this wonderful little ignite you know, little fuel, a little coal, a little spark that got you on the right page, but they're just, um, ben you're benefiting from them, basically. Let's see what else we got here. Four of Pentacles uprights. I love Nine of Cups uprights. Seven of Swords uprights. Okay, well, let me tell you what I first see. So, first off, um, Something I noticed that's interesting between the dynamic between the two of you is nobody's really um, giving too much of themselves. This is a very fun relationship where we're not getting into the deep stuff. You know what I mean? We're not having the deeper conversations. It's just really surface level, but it doesn't mean there's not depth there underlying in between, you know, things. There's not, they're not empty headed. It just feels like they're you're both holding back a little bit without keeping stuff from the other one. Does that make sense? Um, anyways, it just, but the thing that's so interesting here is you have to ask, well, why are you keep, well, hold on, L let me see, say something else and then we'll get to that point because I want to pull some more cards. Um, with the Nine of Cups here, I can see that this is kind of exactly what you need right now as well. Um, you're, this is just the perfect situation you need to experience. It's the relationship you didn't anticipate wanting to ask for. Because, you know, I feel, I don't want to speak for everyone, but I get many people requesting about their soulmate long-term sort of relationships. Will I get back with the person I'm with? Again, all feels very much centered around that idea. This is something you didn't know you needed. But it's exactly, it, or you didn't know you wanted, but it's exactly what you needed is the best way I can put it. So, and, and there's, in, in general, it's repeating that concept that just by being in this relationship and expressing yourself in this way with this person, weirdly a lot of like, I see a lot of like positivity coming your way with receiving other things you want. Again, this goes back to money. If you're working on any sort of goals or dreams, don't be surprised if, if this relationship is putting you in the right mindset and energy to be able to manifest, which is kind of cool and interesting because all you're doing is being silly and having fun and feeling revitalized again. But notice how you're like, listen, partner, let's have fun. But like, I only have so much of myself to give right now. Weirdly, they are too, but the thing that's weird is they feel there's some, you know why you're not able to. You just came out of a place where you had nothing left to give. So it's not necessarily secrets going on. You're just like, I just got my spark back. I, I can't, I don't have enough to then like get into a whole relationship and love you forever and da da da. But they, their reasons for kind of holding back in the same way you are and mirror imaging you is they've got some secrets and I'm whenever I see their secrets I'm like what are your secrets what are you not talking about <laughs> like is is this an endangerment for you should you know about this so let me pull an oracle card to see what oh okay never mind never mind the judgment's gone <laughs> It's gone. It's all good. Okay. Um, I was a little concerned if there was a relationship sort of thing going on that, that maybe they secretly were still with someone and, and putting you in a difficult spot or they had ill intentions or da 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 da. No, not at all. In fact, actually, um, it's interesting. While they revive you and give you like good vibes and everything's happy and cool, you are like reborn and in the process of being reborn. You're good to go. You went through your energy spent time and now it's the total opposite for you. In a weird way, they're still stuck. You know, they're giving you energy and they just express it in a different way. But think of that very first card we went over, this one. This is kind of where they're at right now. They're not as energy depleted as you were, so they express themselves a little bit differently at this time period, but they're still a little 
they're not quite sure where to go either. But instead of, again, feeling like they're being torn in multiple different directions, they're just not really sure where to go. So it's a sort of directionless without a lot of movement and action. But the thing that's kind of cool about this is, and, and it seems like you guys serendipitously came into each other's lives to, you know, benefit one another in this way, is with this oracle card, it looks like they're just kind of meant to be stuck at this time. And they're meant to go through what they're going through. They're, it's <laughs> Sometimes the universe forces us to stop. I'll notice I'll get a Four of Swords card when somebody is like not taking a break and the universe is like, girl, you're taking a break. <laughs> um, so I think the reason why they're hiding this is they can see how you know, amazing you're doing and how much you think they're amazing, which is why you're feeling like you're in this good space. And they just don't want to disappoint you. They don't want you to think they, this is like their big secret that maybe they're not, you know, as forward momentum moving and feeling as great as they could be or seem like they're coming across. And the more they know how well you're doing and how much you think of them, they're just like, um, I just don't want them to know this right now. So this isn't like, a huge secret. They're just going through their own personal journey too. So nothing bad, nothing bad. Um, all good, but a pretty fun time overall. So get pumped. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, please leave a like. It helps out so much. And if you aren't already a subscriber, consider subscribing today. I do this stuff daily, weekend, monthly, all that jazz. Um, either way, have a beautiful day. I'll see you in the next one.